<clears throat> Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about, did you, uh, I don't know, alright, now I don't know if this ever happened or not, but, alright, eh, alright, now, I have haters, right? And the haters will always say things like, oh, you're running out of things to talk about. Oh, this and that. Well, at the end of the day, they're going to have their thoughts and beliefs. And it is what it is. So, anyway, you ever notice how sometimes you, you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and you'll drool on your pillow? I don't know, someone just told me I should talk about this. I know it's not something that Natalie Tang would have talked about in any of her films going back to at least 2007 or what, 2006, 2005, why out, 2017, while well, I know that. Now, a lot of folks always ask me, well, Jordan, how do you deal with haters? Or, how do I put up with them? Well, haters, or they always, they, they think that they, okay. How, all right, how do I put up with them? I don't. I uh, don't talk to them. I don't speak to them. And it is what it is. They're like, oh, you're running out of things to talk about. No, I'm not. So you ever know when you're dealing with any leadership offshoot and you'd be on hold for a long time and folks say, well, it's the leadership, so that's the only ground they can come up with. Well, the only, my only dealings with the leadership or at least the land leadership came out of two offshoots, the IRS and the SSA, which both of them handle GAL but they don't work, but one's on its own and the other one belongs to the offshoot of the treasury or the gal holders, I guess. I don't know. So one belongs to a, one's on its own and the other one belongs to a his offshoot of some other thing. Now, anytime you're dealing with any one of them, and I don't know, maybe, you're lucky and you might get it you maybe you're one of the lucky ones and you get and you get called right away or maybe you're not one of the lucky ones and you get about a long hour of an unhold song now when a lot of folks ask why is that they say well it's leadership that's the only ground they can come up with yes the leadership is busy and iffing running the land doing all the things that they have to do to keep the land right and keep everything and law and oversight and all that stuff if you didn't have any leadership there would be no law and oversight there would be there wouldn't there everything wouldn't be right so i know a lot of folks gave leadership for for making you be on hold long, but maybe you're one, there are maybe you're the lucky ones and you get on hold, you get on right away. Now, I have only had my dealings with only two of them at the time. And I have, and at least I never really had a deal with them only maybe once. I never had to have any follow ups. There are folks that they go on to do something and it doesn't get done and then they, they seek themselves dealing with them again. You know, like, you know, it'd be like this. It would, oh, ah, it would be something like this. Well, I, I told you that, yeah, I do give some of my, some of my SSA is taken for gouge for toll since I do earn some income. So yeah, I thought I did tell the folks at the IRS that. I thought I did tell them that 
and it is taken out as such. I do do the bookkeeping or go to some business that handles the bookkeeping for me. Since you folks could do it, but there are laws that say you can't do it. Well, actually, we can do that. But then those bookkeeping businesses you speak of go and get the leadership to tell us, no, we can't do it, and they have to do it because we'd be taking their business away from them, and we could do it for free. Well, it's true. You know? Now, I don't know about the IRS and their, uh, how long you have to be on hold to talk to any of them. I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's longer. Maybe it's just less the SSA. I don't know. But I know my dealings with them. I didn't really be on hold that long. But I do know that I did have to, uh, I did have to deal with them maybe here and there when it came to, in to my income. Now, I know some folks are going to say, well, Jordan, you run your own, you run your own film and far see your show business, you're a show player, and some folks see a show player as a, as a free worker since he or she can pick and choose what jobs they go for and how much they make on it said job. Yeah, I guess so. And I've always done my, I've always had my shit, you know, right. Maybe I'm not making as much as others, so it wouldn't be that much. That doesn't mean there wouldn't be no F up on the side. So while I know my I know my income is that less, because I know that I have a film bit film and farseer show business. I know I'm making gal as a show player, even if I'm a free worker and not. So I know some of it's going away, but not all of it. I do have some of it coming in. Yeah, you do. Well, then why does it say I don't? Well, so, uh, I know some of it gets told away since I got a, a tollable income. I know that. Yes, you do. Everything's good and you know what it's up to. Oh, I just hope I don't F myself and lose more than I should be losing. I don't think you will be. Yep. That's another thing for folks that work, well, folks who are on SSA and all of its offshoots, because SSA does many, well, mo many offshoots, is that no need how much or how less you work or how good you think that you're keeping everything on the wreck. One little mistake at your bit, at where you work, can then put you to uh, can make it where you don't make so much even if you're keeping your time spent your life time span the same even if the income is being the same you know there can be mistakes made on on both sides sure there are mistakes made by RS from time to time there are mistakes made by the SSA from time to time um but at least my dealings with them was not being put on hold long. I was lucky and I could get in to, to deal with them when I, I had to deal with them. I never really dealt with the IRS to say only maybe once. But there was something that my only once. And I guess that was when I was starting out my film and farseer show business a long time ago. Because I didn't know all the things I had to do to get it taxable. But ever since then, I really didn't have any dealings with them after that. You know, and I was never put on. And any of the last dealings I've had with them is when I had to shift from being in Pennsylvania over to California. And same thing with the SSA. But I was never put on hold long enough with them. I guess I was lucky. Some folks aren't lucky. And they get put on hold for hours with the IRS and hours with the SSA, you know. So that's it. I'm Jordan Long, and I hope you like this film.